Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn how to set default value for number field in Salesforce. And we are going to discuss this topic in both edition in Salesforce Lightning as well as Classic. So let's move to our org. This is my Salesforce Lightning version and here we are going to learn how to set default value for number field in Salesforce Lightning. So for this, we firstly click on the gear icon and under this gear icon, we can see there is a setup option present. So we click on this setup option. Our setup page is open and under this setup page, we can see there is an object manager tab is present on the nav bar. So we click on this object manager tab. Our object manager page is open and under this object manager page, we can see lots of objects are present. But here we want to select the expense object. So we enter the expense in the quick find box and our expense object comes at the top which is the custom object and we select this expense object. Our expense object page is open and on the right side we can see the detail related to the expense object and on the left side we can see the detail section and under this detail section we can see there is a field and relationship option present. So we click on this fields and relationship option our fields and relationship page is open. Under this page, we can see lots of fields are already created, but we want to create the new field and set the default value for this field. So we click on the new button. And we can see our data type page is open. And under this data type page, we can see lots of field types are present. And here we want to select the number field type. So we click on the number checkbox which allow the user to enter any number leading zeros are removed so after clicking on the number checkbox we click on the next button after choosing the data type we comes to our expense new custom field page now enter the field label here under the field label field so here we enter the amount and then set the length as a 15 and set the decimal place at a 2 and then scroll to the bottom and here we see there is a default value field is present for this field we set the default value so we enter 200 inside this default value field and then click on the next button now we come to our next step that is establish field level security select the profile to which we grant the added access to this field via field level security the field will be hidden from all the profiles if we do not add it to the field level security so we add all the profiles to the field level security that's why we click on the visible checkbox and then click on the next button and uh, we come to our next step that is add to the page layout select the page layouts that should include this field the field will be added as the last field in the first through column section of these page layouts the field will not appear on any pages if we do not select the layout to change the location of this field on the page we will need to customize the page layout to change the value that appear, we will need to customize the record type. So we click on the save button. After saving the field type, we come back to our field and relationship page. And under this page, we can see our amount field is created with a number data type. Inside the data type, we have an argument 15 and 2. 15 is set as a length and 2 is a decimal place. Now we check our default value is set for this amount field or not. So we click on the app launcher and enter the sales in the search box and click on the sales option. Our sales page is open and under this sales page we can see lots of tabs are present on the name bar and here we want to select the expense tab so we click on the more drop down arrow and search the expense tab here in the more drop down list 
so sort the expense and here we go this is the expense tab so click on this and uh, expense record page is open and here we want to create the new record so we click on the new button and our new expense page is open select the record type first and then click on the next and our new expense furniture record dialog box is open and uh, here we go when we scroll to the bottom and we can see our amount field is already set as a 200 because we set the default value as a 200 for this amount field so let's move ahead and discuss about how to set default value for the number field in salesforce classic so for this firstly click on the profile picture and under this profile picture we can see there is an option present switch to salesforce classic click on this option our salesforce classic version is open and here we can see there is a username present click on the drop down arrow of the username our drop down list is open then select the setup option our setup page is open now enter the product in the quick find box and uh, our product scroll to the bottom and here we go our product pay, uh, object is shown and under this product object we can see there is a fields option present click on this fields option our product fields page is open and now scroll to the bottom here we go we can see our product custom fields and relationship section present and here we can see loads of fields are already created but we want to create a new product field and set the default value for this field so that's why we click on the new button after clicking on the new button we come to our field type page and here we select the number field type that allow the user to enter any number leading zeros are removed after setting the number data type after setting the number data type we click on the next button now we move to our next step that is a product new custom field page is open and enter the details related to the product custom field firstly fill the label and here we are filling the label as default price and then set the length as 8 and decimal point as a 2 and uh, here we go we can see our field name is already set and uh, then scroll to the bottom and set the default value as a 500 and then click on the next button now we come to our next step that is establish the field level security select the profile to which we want to grant the added access via field level security and we want to grant the address access to all the fields so we click on the visible checkbox and click on the next button and now we want to add to this to page layout select the page layouts that should include this field the field will be added as the last field in the first two column section of these page layouts and click on the save button we come back to our product field page and when we scroll to the bottom here we go under the product custom field relationship section we can see the default price with the number data type is created successfully and we also set the default value for this default price field now check our default value is set or not scroll up and then now select the product object search the product object inside this drop down arrow list and here is the product object click on this product object our product record page is open and we want to create the new and when we scroll to the bottom here we go our default price is set to the 500 so with this we have learned how to set default value for number field in salesforce so if this video was helpful click on the like button and also subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos like this one thanking you for watching have a great day